Welcome to the Longton Memory Trail, a series of recollections told by local people. I used to go in for a book for me, one for my granddad and one for my grandma. Because <laughs> you could change them every day. Uh, when old people used to go in, read all the daily papers, new papers every day, for nothing. <laughs> yeah. Auntie May was born in 1908 and she died 2008 when she was 100. And she says she remembered the actors coming to Longton Station. And as children, they used to follow them up the road. And they, they went up the road, pulling those big wicker baskets behind them to the theatre. The only theatre that I can remember was um, oh, opposite Lockett's Old Cave Shock, somewhere near the library. Um, opposite there, when I was about three, my auntie and uncle took me there and those, those, uh, it was a theatre, you know, acrobat, live theatre, and there was an acrobat and this woman was high up on, on a, I don't know on what, but I cried and it frightened me because she was up and they had to bring me out. They had to bring me out because I was so frightened. The woman was high up. Uh, but it was, I thought it was called the palace. Built on land donated by the Duke of Sutherland, the Sutherland Institute was designed to be uh, in memory of Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee, I think. Opened in 1899 when it contained the library, uh, also the equivalent of a school of art upstairs. And on the right of the building, as you look at it on the top floor, there are lots of windows because that's where the art session was. It also at one time had a chemistry lab in it and a lecture theatre. If you would like to hear more memories, visit the Ensign Works exhibition on Short Street. Open every weekday, 9 till 5. Collect a free access code from Core Reception, Longton Library or Gladstone Pottery Museum.